Welcome to Tech and Tips for Beginners, and today we're going to be talking about mental frame advantage. But before we get to that, there is a topic that ties to it closely, so I feel like it would be easier to explain it the other way around, I guess? I don't know. First, we're gonna talk about a little trick that will allow you to get away with the murder. No, but it will allow you to get away with some unsafe strings. To illustrate this little trick, let's take a look at Demo Man. Now, every pole player knows that a Demo Man is an awesome three hit string. However, there are two problems about it. First one, that it's launch punishable, and the second one is that it doesn't really launch outside of the point blank range. So oftentimes you find yourself in a situation where you dash in and commit to it and it doesn't launch and you're fucked. It's reasonable to assume that nobody really likes to be in situations where you're completely fucked, so you can apply this little trick. Now, since Demo Man is a string of three hits, you can just do the first two part, down four into two, and then check if it launched or not, and if it did not, you can just leave it like that. The thought process behind it is that your opponent is obviously waiting for the Demo Man to finish in order to punish it, so if you leave it like that without actually finishing the string, they're gonna be pretty confused. The next time the same situation occurs, you can actually finish the string, and if your opponent tries to punish it, they're gonna take the damage. This whole thing doesn't really make Demo moment more safe, but it's a huge mind game, and it sort of allows you to get away with it. The very same concept can be applied to other moves that aren't really punishable, that are just, say, negative. And this is the concept of mental frame advantage. The best way to illustrate that would be Kazumi's down forward 1. We all know it has an amazing extension in 2, so down forward 1, 2. However, the thing about it is that it's a 13 frame mid that is minus 3 on block, which means that if you do it and it gets blocked, you are giving away your turn. However, because there is an extension in form of 2, your opponent will be hesitant to press any buttons because you can just simply finish the string. This gives you an advantage, a mental frame advantage. Even though you're technically negative, you can still continue pressing buttons and chances are you're gonna get away with it. This little trick, well, first of all, it will allow you to get away with some unsafe strings like Demo Man. But most importantly, it will allow you to get a good offense and defense going. Plenty of beginners still think that if it's negative, then it's not really your turn. However, in certain situations, as I've just explained, you can still continue your offense or defense, continue poking, continue the pressure, and chances are you will be able to get away with it. Now, it's a mind game. It's not guaranteed or anything like that, but you can actually just see by the way your opponent behaves, and if they don't respect your mental frame advantage, next time you can just finish the string and let them know that you're capable of that. Hope this helps in your Tekken adventures. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.